Hello guys, Fate Productions once again. And in this video, I've got a crypto miner for you guys. Like the last video I did, this one's easy to set up and requires little time. But instead of the other one, this one pays you out in standard US dollar instead of having to convert everything. So this miner, like NiceHash, it works almost the same, but instead of outputting it into Bitcoins, it'll output it into US dollars, which you can withdraw for a ton of different things. So if you go to the link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. And after you're in that page, you're going to go over here to download, and it'll scroll you down to download. After that, you're going to click the setup version, and then go through the setup, and after it's downloaded, you click it. Now after you've ran it, you'll hit I accept, next, and then add WinMiner folder to the exclude list of Windows Defender. Now if you don't do this, sometimes Windows Defender will categorize it as a Bitcoin miner and not allow it to run. So make sure that's checked, click next, let it load. And it'll be done. Now have that checked to run oneminer.exe, click finish. Now, after you hit finish and it brought up the window, it'll say one minor account, please enter your email address. Now you're gonna do that, but when you do this and select your email, it will create an account in that email. So I'm gonna use the email I used. And I'm gonna click next. Now, you need your password to see your balance or else you can click skip. I'm going to enter my password now. Now, after you type in your password, you'll go ahead and click finish. It'll bring up a page here. This is the main software itself. Now, you have here the start button, and it'll show you the available mining devices. Now, because I'm on a laptop, It'll only let me mine from the CPU. But different settings, you can click here. And as you can see, it gives you a variety of settings. One of the first things you'll want to do is click your display currency, US dollars. You'll come down here and you can look if you want to start it minimized, show the command screen, allow beta version update. Now come over here to mode. Now these are the three different modes. Automatically, it's almost like a screensaver, so when you're not at your computer for five minutes, it'll automatically start the miner. You have always on, which it's always on. Manual, which means you manually start and stop it. You can start the service and off application start, automatically reboot the computer when needed. I'm going to put it to that. Coins, you have auto-optimized. Custom for all coins, which you can select if, let's say, if Zcash is 1% higher than Electronium, we'll switch to Zcash. I have auto optimized because I don't want to mess with anything else. Now you have specific coins which you'll mine only the coins that are selected or all coins. I have all coins just in case a coin that I don't have selected is higher than the others and it gets you the most profit. Miners. Now these are miners that it'll automatically install when you hit run. I've already got them installed on my system, so this is just what it loads so far. Now you have the benchmark tab, express, full, or predefined. Express is what it'll automatically do. Full, which is what I like to select, is it will test every single coin every 24 hours to find the best coin for your system and then start on that coin. Job decision, this is just what it selects to use the miner and then withdraw it. We'll get into withdrawal later. So we'll go ahead and save that and then come over here. Now you'll, you'll click start to start your to start mining. Now it'll mine and then say device detected and then give you a hash rate report. I'm gonna go ahead and click stop right now and I'll show you the rest. Now if you'll notice down here, you'll have your balance and you'll have this little button called view online. Now click view online and it'll load this page. 
Now, currently, as you see, I have a balance of three, $3.50. Now, I've already withdrawn to PayPal $20. But if I come down here to the live, it'll show you the device is mining and how much they're making. So this one is making 96 cents a day. This one is making 62 cents on the graphics card and then 12 cents on the CPU. And what I love about this is you can restart this machines, clear the benchmarks, or etc. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Now this is this computer. It'll say idle and then give me a hash rate report. But if I come down here to the software, you'll see it started it, which is a really nice feature. So if you want to reset the, the hash rate, sometimes your computer will slow the hash rate. And so you can refresh it by starting it. Other times on here, my R7 360 will sometimes get a lot higher hash rate than this. And then the price will go up and down. So I have to stop it and then start it again to refresh the job. Sometimes it'll select a different coin and make me more money. If I come up here, I have withdrawal. Now this will show me all the things I want to withdraw my balance to. I personally like PayPal. The Bitcoin network is congested. And so it's it takes away a big chunk of what you want to like transact. If you're at the statistics tab, It'll show you, it'll show you all the machines and how much you've earned for that day. I can select each machine that I've had on here previously, and I can see how much it's made me for those days. I select all machines and you can see by tweaking, sometimes for days you'll earn more or less. So right here, I only had a couple systems running and then I started a server and over here I had one setting then I changed it thinking that it would do better and it actually did worse and so over here they were off and on and then over here they're just now getting to start back up currently today I've earned 35 cents now to show you guys this isn't a scam, I'll show you my withdrawal history. And as you saw, I withdrew it to PayPal, the amount, the fees that WinMiner takes, which is 60 cents out of the $20, PayPal fees, which was 97 cents. So the total it actually went to PayPal was 18.46. So if I go to if I go back to the software, now it's mining. It's really easy to see how much hashes you're going to get per day and find out how much you're going to make by scrolling down and looking at these. This concludes the video of WinMiner. Happy mining, everyone.